to Artie and Mike, funniest man ever, Mike Bushy. Um, but yeah, let's not waste no time, let's just go right into it. Artie and Mike, let's go. Well, uh, again, uh, yeah, sometimes he just blurts out, God, I miss cocaine. <laughs> That's a segue. Um, so I want to talk a little bit, you guys being comedians, uh, one of my favorite people in the whole world, Norm MacDonald. Brilliant. A uh, guy I did a movie with uh, and a uh, TV show. Guy wrote an article about how, how Norm is, uh, you know, making a big impact on Twitter. Norm, if you follow Norm on Twitter, you know, he really is elegant, almost poetic. And a lot of times he doesn't try to be uh, funny. He's trying to just be poignant. And he's a big hockey fan. But, you know, again, people are finding out Norm is one of the funniest guys ever. I think any comedian would say that. But he's also one of the smartest people I've ever met. Like, I, I don't think he's ever had his IQ checked, but Norm of those guys, if his IQ were 150 or 160, I would not be surprised. Wow. Like a, a real well-read guy. And um, again, a lot of you guys uh, ask me, why do I charge for the podcast? Why do I charge for the podcast? Well, you know, you're getting crazy content, and I'm not going to edit the content for anybody. That's why... You know, a lot of these podcasts, they see, they say you could do whatever you want, but if you let somebody else buy the equipment, and uh, you know, th uh, the company that buys the equipment distributes you, and they set up the PayPal, they pay for the website, and uh, they uh, they they have their own marketing people, and you have no overhead, they can tell you what to say and what not to say. If you have sponsors, you have censorship, so it's not uncensored. So. I happen to be lucky enough to have had enough scratch in the bank to where I was able to buy my own equipment, set up a, a website that I paid to have designed myself, hire a staff, and uh, and uh, you know a marketing guy to do all this. So I really have no one to answer to. So you could get crazy, uh, you know, like the rant I did in the beginning. There's a lot of shit I said in that that, you know, even working at Sirius, there's still a corporate place you could curse, but. Uh, even working for some podcast, you're working for people who set up corporations and they can tell you what to do. Norm has that. And Norm's uh, video podcast, if you haven't seen it, is he's great on Twitter. He's very poetic on Twitter and it's worth following Norm. You can follow him at Norm McDonald. Uh, that's his actual real verified name. But um, his video podcast is hilarious really really great really interesting and he's interviewed people like sandler and spade and uh, nick swartzen which is what this story is about <clears throat> i'm supposed to do it uh and I, I can't wait to do it soon but um you know this article uh, in some canadian publication called the movie i did with him a cult classic which makes me feel old first of all but i like that they like that dirty work uh cult classic and i feel good for norm and Frank Sebastiano and Fred Wolf wrote that movie because it's funny. If you like Norm, you'll love it. But here's the problem with getting sponsors. Norm, who's the best when he's uncensored, uh, has sponsors because he doesn't charge. But here's what happened. Right after the most disgusting off-color story from Nick Swartzen, <laughs> who's a great comic, and I saw Norm's video podcast with Nick, and Nick was hilarious. He told an off-colored... Uh, <laughs> story and I saw it it was very off color but that's story? why you get a podcast all right okay basically Norm right after that story went to a live read for a grill company called Mangrave the advertiser didn't share Norm's sense of humor and Daniel Callison the producer of Norm's show said we had to pay them back they had to pay back the sponsor that's a nightmare they had the money in the bank something happened on the fucking podcast that was hilarious but they don't care. They're just like, we don't want to be involved with that, and they had to pay. It's just back. amazing how in this day and age people are that, like, it's it's like when you do a dive comedy go, and you go, like, you know, like I used to do, I'd be driving to some gig in Delaware, you get to Bob's Crab Shack, and he's like, hey, here's the kind of comedy I want. It's like, what? You can't it's it's like that. me sitting there saying, let me tell you how to make crab cakes. Same thing, it's like, I'm your sponsor, people are going to listen. The, the, the clean cut people that you're worried about offending are not listening. No, it's, you know, it's, like, it's like the rock station that plays a little disco. You're not going to get the disco crowd, but it's uh, and you're not going to win. And the rock people are going to get mad at the disco. They're going to lose every listener. I just guess my point is, it's like, look, we do stand-up. We don't pretend to know how to run a grill company. But these guys that run grills companies are so fucking cocky, obtuse, cock-sucking dicks that they're like, they're like let me yeah. tell you, I know how to run a grill company, and I know how to tell jokes. If you give, you don't. If you give Norm MacDonald or somebody like me money... 
And look, as long as you're not hurting anybody with What's your company physically or emo- I'll take your money. I- I'll plug anything. But, you know, we had this problem even on Howard. As mainstream as Howard is, our material was crazy. And Howard would never change it for anybody. So we were taking money from a company called Schwinkterine, which was ass mints. What's People who would put mints in their ass when they got their ass ate out. It was... You know, it smelled good. It smelled good. What's the name of this grill company? Because I want to tweet out right. Man great. Man great. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet out. I'm like, look, just got the new man great. Don't Mangrate. get me in trouble. Just got the new man great Auschwitz uh, grill. Fantastic. Oh, no, don't wait, not, wait a minute. Why? Wait a minute. Why? It's my Twitter. Okay. Well, you, okay. it's my Twitter. No, but you're saying this on all forty eight. You know, he's like trying to crucify you here. Oh, well, how am I crucifying him? Tra- change no. it to a lesser known. <laughs> Damn, he's crucifying. Change him. it to he's a lesser known, known concentration. Okay. Here. Make a Treblinka. <laughs> I didn't even know that one. And I'm fine with it. Spando. Spando. LA. You never heard of Treblinka? I didn't. Get up on your anti-Semitism. You know, I thought you know. <laughs> that. I've been so focused on the uh, on the Rosa Parks stuff that I've really let the the Holocaust. By the way, slide. I pitched Amy Poehler. I saw her recently. Rosa Parks and Recreation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we're gonna get. Can that. they do my coffee joke? In we're there? shooting a pilot. Can they do the Rosa? What Perks? is your coffee joke? <laughs> it's that one you always made fun of. Rosa me. Perks. The most. Uh, there's something about blend since Rosa Perks. Rosa Perks. I enjoy it. <laughs> Good luck doing that on the Tonight Show. <laughs> The what? Now listen, uh, Norm, one of the smartest, funniest guys, you give him your money, he might be off color. It's a video podcast. He should be allowed to do whatever he wants. But see, guys, I got to get the right sponsors. That's why I'm asking him for a little money up front until I can find those right sponsors. But shout your thoughts. Well, as soon as I come into some cash, you'll be on, you know what I mean? No, I don't. Uh, what are you uh, saying? Didn't he bring you into enough cash the past three years? What did you do with that? Well, Shetty, I've I, heard. I bought, what did you invest that I bought, in? I bought sh- sh- sweat jackets like this. It's well, Shetty, I've heard. Really? These are, are, are you overpaying for your trainer? <laughs> no, no, no. She's great. His trainer's hot and funny. I heard. Hey, she's, she's married. Not, she's a married woman. Man, too. What? She's still funny and hot. Did you, did you think you had a shot at her? No. She's been a friend forever, and she's married. Yeah. 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 Uh, the old friend for. How much weight did you lose? Like 70 pounds at least. You do. You look great, man. Do Healthy. Healthy 70 pounds. Give it a sort of hostility. You don't have as much of a block head. No, it's like which well, is like amazing. A, an oval. But can I make a suggestion? Your hair should be a little wider to cover your face. I have the same problem. Oh yeah, and I cut cut. Your it. face looks like a globe. <laughs> your face is like a globe that was kicked out of the Marines. Oh, oh they took the anchor off. Now, have you ever had a, a homosexual act, Mike? Uh, oh no, no, not no. even in the army. Oh, get off me, Jim. What happened? Are you very? See, Mike is very Italian, Staten Island homophobic. No. Oh is. no, no. I mean, you, you are. Know, no. It's like Dan <laughs> tries to be. Like you know, he said, you don't don't mess with him. Okay, we get it. We get it. You're heterosexual. We understand. It's 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 it's. Part of our heritage. But, but if you're really yeah, heterosexual, it's not part of our heritage. Hear, d- doubt, Stop it. D- doubt, you make Italians look stupid when you say, oh, it's part of our heritage. No, not I mean, not in that way, but I mean, you know. It's still about Staten Island. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, there yeah. you go then. Not well, Italian. You ever hear that doubt dust protests too much? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? You forgot the meat. You know things. what that means? It means you're probably guilty. Right, exactly. If you wow. keep saying no, 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 it means yes, yes, yes. How come we don't have a ding, ding for that? He nailed it. <laughs> you're like, well, well, you're you like know, not like you nailed one of them Staten Island queers, but you nailed that question, Mike. <laughs> It's funny, like funny, wait a minute, you do protest. You started mentioning your I don't protest at all. How I'll kiss times? anyone in here on the that loose right now, not your sister. Well, again. That was a that, long yeah, evening. Don't even think of it. <laughs> no, no, that's no. why, that's, I want to let you kiss my sister's door. I get pissed off. Listen, <laughs> that's why, that's why um, uh, I, I love that movie Blazing Saddles. That one of my favorite, why you just, <laughs> Staten Island queer. Oh my God. When he goes, I hired you men to get some crack laid, not to jump around like a bunch of Kansas City faggots. <laughs> that's one of the greatest. What the hell is a Kansas City <laughs> Oh, the Camp Town Lady. Give Camp it up. Town Lady. Doodar. Do- Come on, let's hear a good old-fashioned nigger work song. <laughs> Again, I'm quoting a movie. Uh, Before we get up in arms. and I started doing some writing now. I got off my butt. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did, I swear <laughs> to God. You stand up to write? Yeah. At, online as well. You said you got off your butt. <laughs> yeah. You stand up to write? No, I just got off my butt and started writing some some. some what do you write? I, I'm actually writing for a site called Stuff Dudes Like. Dot com. Stuffed dudes. Stuffed dudes? Oh, stu- S-T-U-F-F dudes like. Stuffed dudes. <laughs> I tell you what, I, you know, Mike, I, you're, you check your homophobic hat at the door because I've said this before on stage even. Uh, I'm very heterosexual, but I would fuck everyone in one direction. Every one of those kids <laughs> in one direction I would fuck. Yeah, Gino, that, Gino, your thoughts. Gino, I, be, I became a... <laughs> I um, cannot argue with you. That's a good looking... Those are some good looking kids. I they could probably keep a secret. Chicago, too. Dan Filato. And you're in fuck biz. In one direction. I also... Uh, I don't know who they are. Became a food, comedy food critic. 
You what? became a comedy food critic? What's comedy food? Like funny food? No, like do it, uh, for a place called the Intro Bang. The Intero Bang. It's Intero not the bang. Intro Bang. <laughs> you, you forgot our friend the letter E. Then what? How, what are you talking about? How do you rate about? him? Like in Busted Guts? I give this four Busted Guts. Yeah, what are you up. talking about? What do you mean? It's the, like a comedy website. That, it's, it's a pretty cool it's, place. It's uh, Ron and Fez, the Intero Bang. They put oh. uh, Gino's Picks videos up all God, year. I didn't know that. I, yeah, I started, I'm, I'm going to be the comedy food critic. All right, what? Well, now, when does that start? I'm, I'm lining stuff up now, Gene. I'm not a lazy You're guy. lining stuff up now? No, no. What, what does laugh. that mean? I'll be laughing at you one day. I'll invite you to my castle in the south of France one Your day. Your castle Pink in Gorge. the south of France? <laughs> Mike, that's what you said to me the other day at the, at the New York Comedy Club. Because I'm with like, Audie, no, first, Audie, I'm like, first of all, you haven't left Staten Island yet. He's already trying to get out of Toad Hill Road. I want you to tell you know, me before one, you get the fucking the south of France. Tell me one city in the south of France. Paris. Wrong. That's not the south of France. <laughs> that is uh, central France. Uh, I'll, I'll, give you, oh, oh, I'll give you a hint. It's, it's spelled exactly like an American word. <laughs> that tells him nothing. Bacon? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. See that? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Come on. Oh, French for... Oh, no, nice. Spelled nice. like oh, nice. 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 Okay. nice. It's near, the, uh, it's near no, Cinque Terre in Italy. Okay, maybe I'll just, oh. maybe I'll just go to change it into the hills of Sicily then. Instead of there you go. <laughs> there you go. Name <laughs> one hill in Sicily. Try to get off of Route 280. Name one no, hill no, in Sicily. I, Benny Hill? <laughs> they just run around a lot there. I, uh, music place. I, listen. Thank you, Chad. Thanks for If I were a sponsor after that joke, I would pull out of the No, come on. <laughs> Not because it's a Benny Hill. Car. Let me explain what happened. My point is, what I want to say is I support my friend Norm MacDonald. I hope he doesn't censor the show because of these fucking, uh, you know, uh, goddamn corporations. And listen, that's why, guys, I, I'm asking for 80 bucks a year from you. Oh, they're ridiculous. I'm, I mean, uh, you know, uh, because I don't want anybody telling me what no, to do. No, sh they shouldn't. Be, like, with someone like Norm, don't they know his work? Don't they know what he's going to be? Well, you no, know listen, I mean? Norm can be clean. Norm's a real talented comic. I've seen him be clean in stand-up. He kills on Letterman. I, I, weekend update, Letterman, weekend update, he was clean. You know, he doesn't have to be dirty, but I mean, like any other comic, except for a few, if you're uncensored, it's way better. Like, obviously, Chris Rock is a genius, but I'd much rather see him on HBO than NBC, you know? Do you understand what I'm saying? Absolutely, because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean Susie Culber is a sea caucus six? No, she's, a, she's not a 10. Oh, I think she's hot. A sea cook. I find her to be a sea cook. Cameron like, Diaz is my I'm, lady. No, but I, when yeah. Cameron Diaz, if you like acne, she looks like Mike Wallace. But when you're like. when you're talking, who's the hottest chick? I, I find Colbert very hot because she seems like she knows her sports. Not she's like one of these figureheads that just reads, you know, the teleprompter. I'm not talking about her sports knowledge. I'm talking about sex. But appeal. I'm saying that's what makes her sexy to me. She knows her sports. I, I want to okay. kiss you. I'm not saying. Thanks, I'm, Joe. By uh, that, by that uh, logic, you fuck Jimmy the Greek for uh, uh, You have a good singing <laughs> voice, right? Well, I mean, I got a no, gravelly. No, we should, I have a gravelly no, voice. No, but we should make his love song to Giada, and you'll get her, I'm telling you. How about Giada sounds a little too much like Jihad now? You right? met Giada on Fallon, no, and I then she's she, divorced no, a month later. Pick, by the way, Jihad De Laurentiis. <laughs> no, uh, you, Jihad, should sing, you should sing Jihad, Jihad at home. You should just tag Rosa makes, Parks and Rec with her. She them. cooks all terrorist food. I think you can get Stuff her. that you can... <laughs> She cooks ISIS cream. You know, it's uh, awesome. I, I Mike think, can review that on the intro bang next I, week. I, I, uh, I think you can get her. I'm serious. She's hot. I can't get her. Why not? No, because she's too uptight. She's oh, too uptight. really? And plus, I, I saw just, the way she looked at you on Fallon. Plus, I just you? called her Jihad De Laurentiis. <laughs> Well, she got a good sense I want to work I mean, on that bit. Let's put Jihad De Laurentiis. What's wrong with that? All right. Let oh. me tell you, first you take the paprika. <laughs> then what you do is you get in a holy war with the pepper. The paprika and the pepper in the holy war. This is Jihad de Laurentiis. It gives you explosive gas. Explosive gas. <laughs> Are you seeing how I wrote it? No, I'm trying to help. Uh, I well, thought we were I, spitballing. We did, no, you were spitballing. Well, we'll get an Italian love I song and have you sing it to us. All right, turn Mike's phone off. <laughs> turn his mic off. He's trying. No, I, the kid's uh, trying. Let's play some voicemails for the guys. I know uh, this will be like Mystery Science Theater 3000. We'll play some. Uh, do we have to guess who they're from? But what? No, well, they'll usually Hey, Artie, you baby gorilla, you fat fucking asshole. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. I love you, buddy. Love the podcast. Uh, I just want to see what's up with Mike Bichetti. Is he coming on the podcast anytime oh. soon? I uh, just wanted to put that out there. That's you. How about Rick from Bayside? Is he going to come in the studio? Maybe join you guys for sitting on the podcast for a few? It's Rod from Bayside. All right, bud. Just want to throw those out there. Bye. 
Actually, I'm getting mad at this guy like, like I'm on the Tonight Show. He should know every <laughs> reference. Now, thank you for the kind words. Rod from Bayside, the phony phone call. Rod is currently, as always, working on new calls, and when he's ready, he'll call us. And Rod and his hot uh, girlfriend. Oh, she's beautiful. In. She's very pretty. I don't believe I met. Very pretty. No, no, Rod from Bayside does our phony phone calls. He's really funny. Okay. His phone calls are very funny. Very funny. What else? Let them hear a tan filato real quick. Hey there, Artie. This is uh, Tan Filato calling you back because I, I heard that you requested I call you back. Um, <laughs> Tan Filato, that's uh, obviously Dan Filato's gay ex lover over here in Chicago. Wait, does he give his real and, name? Uh, <laughs> I just want to let you know what? I've been doing much better without Dan. I've been going out dating. <laughs> I'm actually dating a Chicago beer right now. <laughs> and uh, not a guy from the NFL team. You know, they keep that fag football team I'm, I'm dating a, a big hairy hairy fat guy from chicago uh that's that's the real chicago bear to me i know dan that homo might like watching guys play football on tv but that's all that's all bullshit and uh dan like i said the locks are changed and don't come back here, Dad. I'm better without you. And uh, once again, Artie, this here is Tan Filato enjoying my freedom without that asshole Tan Fil Dan Filato. And uh, Tan Filato for life. And Dan, I fucking hate you. All right, that's, All right. that's enough. That's Dan. He's called in several times. Tan Filato. He, he, he claims to butt fuck Dan. He, he, he's a friend on Twitter. I want to erase him, I think. Is he a friend on Twitter? Yeah, Don't erase him. We want to get. Well, he's a fan of the show. We okay. want to perpetuate the show. I, I know Dan wanted me to have him on there, so you know. How many more phone calls we got? We got a few. This guy's called uh, Johnny on the Shitter. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait. You know, we'll take a break. When we come back. We'll finish out the voicemails. <laughs> we'll take a break. Uh, these guys. Uh, we'll be back with G Gino and Mike. You could hang around, right? Yeah. Don't, thank you. You're honey. like Bob Hope and Dean Martin for <laughs> Tonight Show days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna come back and we're gonna play a few more voicemails. And uh, talk and a little football. We, and uh, I am going to run by my lock of the week to Gino, and Gino's going to give me his lock of the week. And uh, Boschetti will just sit there, hopefully, quietly while we do that. Uh, and uh, we'll wrap it up when we come back on the Artie Quitter Pad Kid. Boom. Actually, <laughs> let's have That would be a natural stopping point, I think. Can't see that I didn't. Yeah. <clears throat> we stop there and come back. I was gonna go to forty two, but yeah, that seems like as soon as they're going on a break, perfect stopping point. But yeah, well that's part two. Yeah, I love the little Norm chat and that. That was good. Artie does love Norm. But yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet. 